Department of Public Works Director Glenn Leon Guerrero says that less than 50 percent of solar companies on Ireland have obtained the permits necessary to install solar paneling on homes and businesses. How are they able to slip through the cracks? I don't know what the solar companies are, are required to do, but I think that if we, we get it at the at at the GPA front and our, at our front, and, and we, again, we work together so that we're, we're in sync. I, I think that it, it wouldn't matter. Um, if, if you want to put a solar panel up and, and uh, uh, I mean, it is, it requires a building permit and you need a hookup to the system, then we'll catch it that way. Leon Guerrero says that a permit is required for any type of solar installation because modifications are being made to the breaker box and piping. My take on it is I'm going to have to talk to, uh, to GPA and see what we can do about it. Um, renewing our, our relationship on, on that front. I, I, I understand that uh, um, the major uh, solar companies um, um, that are doing the major installations have come through us um, and my, my understanding is, and this is just a ballpark figure, is that maybe less than 50 percent um, are actually getting permits uh, through DPW, doing it the right way. He says he will talk with the management at the Guam Power Authority to see what can be done to work together to resolve the issue. But at this point, he is unsure of how many solar panel installations have gone unpermitted or how much revenue has been lost as a result. It's really not a whole lot of money in terms of permitting revenues. You're talking roughly about two, anywhere between two to four hundred dollars in, in, in permitting costs. So we will look at that, we'll talk to them, talk to GPA and see actually how many permits have, have, uh, have slipped through the cracks and we'll address it there. He adds that once they are able to determine how many installations have not been permitted, they may send letters to the solar companies to address the matter. Meanwhile, Guam Power Authority spokesperson Art Perez tells KUAM that on their side it is required that solar companies register so that credit can be received and to ensure that solar power connections are done properly to avoid any backfeed into the power grid system. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jolene Tovez.